Your genome is the same the day you're conceived as the day you die. It never changes. It's static. The exposome is changing every day. We can estimate exposures to various types of nutritional factors, social factors, uh, even potentially chemical factors such as air pollution, just by knowing where you are on a given day. Right now, there are about 100,000 chemicals that are approved for use in industry in the United States. We probably only understand less than 100 of them in terms of what they do in our body. So there's an enormous amount of work that has to be done in order to understand how the environment impacts health. We may be able to take a giant step forward and understand understanding what drives health disparities. Why are certain populations at higher risk uh, for developing diseases like asthma, like diabetes? Largely it tracks with things like socioeconomic status, living with financial strain, living in poverty, not being able to pay for medicines or basic needs. Those are toxic to an individual because you worry about them, so they get in the body much in the same way as when you breathe in an air pollutant. Our goal for the Exposomics Institute is to lead the way in developing new methods so that we can actually measure environmental factors starting from the time you conceive to the time you die. Exposures that you may have experienced either in utero or in early childhood and health effects that you may be experiencing 10, 20, 30, 40 years later. We're not only looking at what things cause harm, but what, what combination of exposures actually build resilience and build good health. This institute is very unique because it's nested right in a medical school, a healthcare facility that really the whole goal is to identify how we can improve health if we can understand how the environment actually plays a role.